Hi, my name is Jackie Inquison and today we're making gluten-free fennel chicken sausages. So we're going to start off with, I have one pound of chicken thigh. Now I like to use chicken thigh because when you're making sausages, they tend to kind of get dried out. So the tip here is to use chicken thighs and we're only using one pound and I already have two cloves in my Roboku. So let's get started with these guys. Okay. So we don't want to over mix it, but now we're going to add in a little bit of salt, about one tablespoon, fresh ground black pepper. And the nice thing about this recipe is you actually don't need any bread or any eggs. And we're going to add stone ground mustard because it kind of helps as a binding agent and it also adds a really nice taste. We're adding about two tablespoons to this guy. And now we're going to add about one teaspoon of chili flakes because we like it a little spicy. And now we're just going to give it another little pulse. Perfect. Okay. Now you can see the paste is a really nice consistency. And now we're just going to get all this yummy chicken. We're going to get our cast iron on. We're going to add in the fresh thyme and we're going to fold that in by hand. And that's about one teaspoon. And then we're also going to be adding in one teaspoon of freshly ground fennel seed. And then to this mixture, we actually have about one and a quarter cup of sauteed shiitake mushrooms, which are really yummy. They add a lot of texture and also a quarter of a white onion, which and they've been sauteed down together. I'm just going to keep folding it in. And while our pan is getting hot, I'm going to show you how to form the little sausages. Okay, so a little tip here as well is just having actually just a little bit wet fingers because it'll keep the meat from sticking to your hands. So now that our pan is nice and hot, it's ready for the sausages. So we're going to add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Okay, so when you're cooking sausages, just take a little bit of the meat before you form all of them, Put, throw it in the pan. Let it cook off, give it a little taste of and then see if it needs a little more love, a little more salt or pepper. The best way to find out if the sausages are really done is just kind of give them a little squeeze, just kind of like the palm of your hand. That's when you know it's done. Today, I'm going to be turning them into a little lettuce wrap. So I've got my nice red leaf romaine lettuce, and of course, my favorite hot sauce, a little sriracha and a little bit of this stone ground mustard that I really love so much. So now that my sandwich is all ready, this is a gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free chicken sausage. Come check me out on ehow.com next time. Thanks so much.